WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a good week. Quite an uh, interesting ride. Take a look at the E-mini. All right, so we're closing up about 0.36%, okay, trading at that 5,368 level. We are on lighter volume for this day, okay? So we're reaching a high for the week, and it's on lesser volume, okay? I saw a lot of people here talking like, okay, this was the bear trap. I wonder if we might be heading for an actual bull trap here. Okay, again, you know, what, what happens next week? It's, you have this instability with Japan, of course, causing a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, this isn't necessarily a, a bullish sentiment, right? When you're going higher, retracing uh, back up here from very high volume lows, right? And you're doing so on light volume. Remains to be seen what happens with that. Of course, the SPY up about 0.42% as well. You have the NQs of about 0.43%. Uh, okay, same kind of structure as well. And those Dow futures, Dow not doing too much today at least. Um, but again, similar kind of structure going on here. See the DXY closing at 103.13. Tesla just eking 200. Kind of interesting. I always like uh, when Basil comes on and he talks about these perfect number closes. I would strongly recommend uh, checking him out. He's on at 10 a.m. Uh, every day that the market is open here at TFNN.com. Uh, let's take a look. Disney at 86.10. And this stock is getting just screwed. They might have to be paying more for Hulu. They're disagreeing on the cost. Just some rough stuff. Nobody's going uh, to their parks, it seems. And then Apple up about 1.37%. Lucid's doing well. I'm going to be really annoyed if there's a divergence, if Rivian didn't bounce back, and it didn't. Well, there you go. I guess you can play around with Lucid if you want to do something like that. Uh, let's take a look at what else happened. Soundhound did pretty well. Warner Brothers Discovery stock falls pretty uh, significantly. Let's just see what that closed at right now. We'll flat on it. You can't really see, but you can see from this chart that it's uh, not good. Let's see here. They had a loss of 36 cents per share versus 22. Revenue of 9.7 versus 10 billion. Very rough moment, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday, starting with Tommy O'Brien at 9 a.m. Then we have Basil, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then I will be joining you all next week for Tom O'Brien's show. Take care. We'll see you then.